Hello, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to use your iPad and their countdown timer. In order to find the countdown timer, we're going to click up on the top left on clock. And on the bottom we're going to go down to the timer option. Now this is a very basic application. We can start the timer, we can pause the timer, and then in the middle we can actually set the duration. So I'm going to click on a one minute timer and I'm going to click on sounds and let's say that after one minute the old car horn is going to go off. So I'll set that. Now of course if you also want not one minute but you can even do seconds on here as well. So we have our one minute timer. We're going to keep it for one minute. We have our old car horn. I'm going to start this. And you'll notice, of course, that not only is it visually pleasing, it gives you a representation, but it also gives you a digital timer. I find this helpful. Let's say if you have a bunch of kids that are taking a test, you want to give them a timed assignment, or maybe you are doing something where you want to keep active and you want to know how many uh, you know, more reps you want to bench press or how long you're going to walk, or maybe you're even just timing you know, watching a television program before you go to bed. This is a great way to do things. You'll see we have 28 more seconds for me to talk to you today. And of course, when we go off, we'll have that old car horn. Now, we could hit the pause button. It will pause right on wherever it is. And then we can, of course, resume again. This is also a great feature if you're practicing for New Year's Eve. And that was our timer feature.